hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is Christy I'm gonna go ahead and give a disclaimer now I have a house full of construction going on at this moment and the only quiet place or semi quiet place I have to film is gonna be right here in my bedroom so I apologize in advance if Quincy starts barking that's why I'm holding him or if you hear hammering or anything else going on I am so sorry but if you're new here welcome to my channel i'm christy this is quincy and we do keto related videos today's video is going to be a low carb keto friendly sam's club haul and it's pretty large because chris is home at the moment and we're doing lots of eating honestly i thought it was going to be harder to cook foods than it is considering i don't have a kitchen we just have the makeshift kitchen in the dining room and i thought it was going to be extremely difficult but it's not been. I've been buying convenience foods you'll see in this video. Okay, so if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have my name right down here for you guys. You can go over there if you want to see before and after pictures, family photos, what's going on, what we're eating at the moment. Lots going on over there. I also have a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. That's over 18,000 members. I want to apologize in advance for not being there more lately, but I have construction and people in my house constantly. So work is taking a back seat to this at the moment just at the moment, but I will be back over there. So if you need help, encouragement, if you need friendly people to help walk you through your keto or low carb journey, make sure you go join the Facebook group. You're going to love it over there. I'm going to link it in the description box so you can just click on it and it'll take you right on over. Okay. I think I've talked enough already and I know you don't want to hang out in my bedroom all day. So let me go ahead and show you what we picked up at Sam's Club this time. Heading in Sam's to see if there's anything new and to go ahead and pick up some of our low carb keto items. Check this out. They have fall and Halloween on one side and then the other side is already Christmas items. Okay, we went a little crazy in Sam's and we did get pressed in a gaming chair, so I'm not gonna haul this, but it was $149. So just so you guys know, we did get a gaming chair. So this is my Sam's Club haul. It is pretty large and I did buy items that are not keto. So we're gonna go over this really quick. Then I'll take you outside and show you the items that I picked up that are drink related. We needed lots of drinks. Again, we're in my dining room because the kitchen construction has started and the kitchen is completely blocked off with boards. Can't even get in there. <laughs> and there's Quincy watching everything I'm doing. I did buy some extras. Chris is home right now, so that's back to being four in the household. He is off for the next couple weeks. He was exposed to COVID, but he did test and it came back negative. But due to work regulations, he's not allowed to go back to work for two complete weeks. So let's go over everything I picked up while we were at Sam's. Black Label Bacon. Pick it up every single time. I went ahead and got three of these because we go through a lot of the bacon. There's 72 slices in here and it is fully cooked already. So you do not need to refrigerate this until you've opened it and it lasts a long time. It's only $11 at my store, which I think is pretty cheap for bacon, especially right now. Four slices of this bacon is one total carb. It does have sugar in there, but that's because most bacons do. You can see right there. It is like the third ingredient, but that's just something that's used during the curing process. I still have two heavy whipping creams out in the drink refrigerator, so I only picked up one. These are $2.88 at my store, which is insanely cheap for heavy whipping cream. Now, if you're doing clean keto, this is definitely not for you because this one does have carrageenan in it, but we're not doing clean keto. This is great for us. $2.88, um, you know, I keep it stocked in my household. It does have a good date on there. It is October 15th, so we'll have that for a while. This is one of the main reasons we go to Sam's at this point, and it is their white cheese dip. I have to pick this up for everyone in the household. I got to pick it up for Preston. I have to pick it up for my mom. So I went ahead and got four this time. It's around, I think, $6.88. You can make your own at home if you want something that is cleaner in ingredients because there is a laundry list. This is not clean keto. Definitely dirty keto, I'm sure. The serving size on this is two tablespoons, so it's gonna have 80 calories, and it's gonna have one total carb, one net carb per serving. 
It is just a teensy bit spicy. Not bad, guys. Not bad. It just has a little bit of like peppers and stuff in it. So it gives it a little bit of a kick, but nothing extremely hot. The kids love this. We make our own nachos in the air fryer with these tortillas. And this is what they dip the chips in. We make nachos. We do tons of stuff with this cheese. We just about add it to everything at this point. Absolutely delicious. So speaking of nachos, this is what we use to make them. This is the meat I get. This is the steakies. These are not cooked. They're like pressed steaks, if that makes sense. So when you cook them in a pan, they sort of do this. Does that make sense? They're sort of like steak gums, I think. So it's thinly sliced and shaped sirloin strip steaks. You get 12 in here. When I first started buying these, they were about $10. Then they went up to $20 and now they're at 15. But we love these. I'll put them in a pan. I'll add a little bit of seasoning, like some taco seasonings, some salt, stuff like that. Once this is cooked up, we'll go ahead and make our nachos with the chips and cheese. I'll add that on top and a few other toppings absolutely amazing so we love these i guess i'm going to be cooking these on the grill <laughs> uh it may be on the side eye of the grill until we get our kitchen back but chris wanted these since he was home he loves those nachos so i went ahead and picked up more so speaking of nachos and tortilla shells this is the ones I pick up. This is the Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Carb Lean. You get two packs in here, so there's 16 tortilla shells. These are the ones that I like to make my wraps with. So if I'm making like a ham and cheese wrap with cheese and some lettuce, things like that, I like these. If I'm making a breakfast wrap with eggs and bacon and cheese, these are the ones I like. So these are $4 and something at my store, which is extremely cheap four net carbs for one of these love them they do have these now these are the carb balance i went ahead and picked up two packs each pack has two in it which means there are 16 in each and like i said these are the ones that the girls make their chips out of and these are the ones they like the most so that's why i have a lot of these this should hopefully get me through the month these are soft again four net carbs for these 70 calories at my Sam's, you can get a pack of these for $6.18. I checked at the grocery store because we were out and I was going to pick them up while I was there the other day. One pack with only eight is $5.18. So I couldn't do it. I just waited until I hit Sam's up and went ahead and bought two packs. That way, hopefully, we'll make it through. This is new for me and I've been wanting to try these forever and I finally got around to it. I just went ahead and picked them up. These are the Three Bridges Uncured Bacon and Cheese Egg Bites. Since we have no kitchen, it's hard for me to get anything egg-wise and guys, I like my eggs. So I went ahead and picked these up. Fluffy mini muffin shaped eggs with uncured bacon and three cheese blend. You get two in each and I think each one is two net carbs. Let me check. Yes, one package is two net carbs. So basically each one of these little muffins is one carb. Can't wait to try these. Hopefully they're amazing. I can't remember the price, let me check. The price on these, not cheap. They were around, I think, $9.78, something like that. But, you know, right now I'm paying for convenience, not having a kitchen. Speaking of convenience, I picked up the shrimp scampi. And you can either put this on the stove and cook it, or you can put it in the oven. I thought this would be easy just to put in the oven, maybe make some of the riced cauliflower risotto medley with it one night and it would just be a quick easy meal this is the sea pike shrimp scampi and it is not clean keto of course because here is your laundry list of ingredients and one of those on there is maltodextrin but there are eight servings in this and each serving is 300 calories with 27 fat two total carbs, two net carbs, and 14 protein. So I'm hoping this is absolutely amazing because I love shrimp scampi and so do the girls. The price on the shrimp scampi, not cheap, $15.98, but you already know shrimp isn't cheap anyways. 
I did pick up some more of the hummus. I love the red pepper hummus. I know it depends on who you talk to whether hummus is considered keto or not, but hey, we'll consider it low carb and go with it. This one is a huge container of hummus and hummus is so insanely expensive. It was only $3 and I think 50 cents at my store. I like to add this to peppers if I eat those. I'll even, when I make a wrap, ham and cheese wrap or whatever, I'll add some hummus to it along with a little bit of mayonnaise and stuff like that. Another item I pretty much always pick up at Sam's is this massive bag of Max barbecue pork rinds. Dirty keto again, but Chris likes these. So if I buy pimento cheese or if I make chicken salad, he likes to use these to scoop it out. So instead of a cracker, these are the ones that he likes to use. If you want a cleaner pork rind that is you know, not got any of the extras in it like maltodextrin or any of the bad oils, go with the Max Plain. Those are amazing. So these run, I think, $4.98 or something like that at my store. So it's under $5 for this huge bag. I did pick up some of the jalapeno and garlic stuffed Greek olives. We get these quite often. Also, Chris loves these. So when he makes like a meat and cheese plate, he will add a little bit of pork rinds, a couple of olives for fat. These are so good. Pretty sure these are clean keto. I don't think there's anything bad in here. No, these are fine. And you're going to get two olives for 20 calories, zero carbs, two fat, and zero protein. These are delicious. Not spicy at all, even though it says jalapeno. The olives are $6.98 at my store. Went ahead and picked up some more of the Duke's shorties. These are a huge hit in my house. There is sugar added in this because with any jerky or shorty sausages, just about always, unless you pick up biltong or something like that, you're going to find sugar added because it's just part of the curing process. These run $10.98. You get three packs in here. And the ingredient list on this isn't long, but like I said, cane sugar, things like that, palm oil. Two of the little shorties is 130 calories, 11 fat with less than one carb and seven protein. This is a great snack if you're doing like a dirty keto. Chris wanted some more of his pimento cheese. This is his absolute favorite. This is the one with the jalapeno and you get 24 ounces in this this is the biggest container that you can find is at sam's if you get the one at walmart i think it is a 20 ounce container again he likes to take the pork rinds and use this as a dip or he will take this and add it to the aldi bread and just have a really quick lunch there this runs around six dollars i think and 88 cents at my store okay that's all the low carb keto options i picked up at sam's at this time <laughs> If you are triggered by non-keto foods, you might want to look away. I do have the drinks. Like I said, we'll go over those last. But with no kitchen, I did cave and go with some convenience items for my 11-year-old. And it's things that she can make really quickly for lunch or take to school. We will go back on this really, really good when the kitchen's complete. I promise. But for now... She is taking some Lunchables to school. She goes to school Mondays and Tuesdays and she needs something quick and easy. Pick these up. They're only like $5 and something and you get a six pack. These are the ham and cheddar and the turkey and American. Six in here. Also six in here. This one, these are the pizzas. You get the cheesy pizza and also the pizza with pepperoni. Again, it's under $6 for that many Lunchables. It pains me. I know I could make my own, but she's a child. The carb count on these is not great, so I, I already know. Speaking of horrible things I caved in and bought, the Velveeta Shells and Cheese Original. <laughs> this is a 12 pack and these are easily microwavable and that's what I need right now. Without having a stove or an eye burner to cook on, I need quick meals for Briley. Again, these are strictly for Briley. The rest of us won't eat them. They're only $8.98 at my store. So for 12 microwavable convenience, that's what I got. Also got some of the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. This is the 12 pack. I picked these up even when she is doing low carb because a serving of this is only seven net carbs and she'll add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to her serving to get in some extra fats. These are $9.98 at my store. Now, non-food related, I did go ahead and pick up some Swiffer pads. These are the wet mop cloths. 
cheaper at my store than if I just bought like one. You get two 32 refills. So if I pick these up at Walmart, they would be so much more expensive. This box was $15. That's everything that I have in here on the table. Let me take you outside and show you my drinks. I did pick up a box of kitty litter from Mira. Kitty litter is getting insane. This is like $21, but it'll last hopefully the month. It's crossing my fingers. I always get the light weight so that it's not 44 pounds. This one's only the 19.5 pounds, and this is the one that she likes. She is a picky cat. Okay, so here are the drinks that I picked up. Completely out of Powerade, and you know I go through that stuff really fast in this household. The Powerades are 1088, and you get 24 20 ounce bottles. So you got three different flavors in here. So these are eight fruit punch, eight mixed berry, and eight grape. Luckily, each one of us likes a different flavor, so we're not running out of one faster than the other. Like I said, went ahead and picked up two of these. I do drink these when I'm doing dirty fasting. It doesn't seem to bother me, and it is zero everything. There's no calories, no sugar, no carbs, nothing in this. Did pick up a sparkling ice, and in this one, you get 24 17 ounce bottles. There are four different flavors, and this one runs $14. Lately, they have not had the Walmart or Great Value brand, or no, the Members Mark brand. It's been completely out, not sure why, and it's usually cheaper. We usually pick it up, it's like $8 and something, but they have not had it in probably two months. What's in this one is the grape raspberry, black raspberry, classic lemonade, and also the cherry limeade. This is the only sparkling ice we got this month. And then Chris picked up some monsters instead of bang. They do have bang at my Sam's now. I picked some up last month, but he likes these. I don't know anything about monster energy drinks. Never drank one in my life. So these are the zero ultra. So it says zero sugar. Again, this is going to be a dirty keto item, I'm sure. If you're opposed to energy drinks, then stay away from it. If not, this might be a good one to go with. The Monster Energy Drinks run around $33 and does it say? Yeah, $24.16 ounce. Okay, so that is my September Sam's haul for the month. I'm sure I will have to go back before it's over with and pick up a few other things. I always do. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Bye.